Hello, my name is Rochelle Andino, and this is my multicultural book assignment for Education 243. The book that I chose for my multicultural video presentation is called An Orange in January by Diana Hutz Aston. The grade level that I will be reading to is intended for second grade students. The component of literacy that I will focus on is vocabulary development. And the common core standard that I will use during my lesson is to integrate knowledge and ideas to demonstrate understanding of the characters, setting, and plot in the story. Students will gain information through the illustrations and words in the text to build their vocabulary fluency. The questions that I will ask my students before reading the book is to activate prior knowledge. And activate prior knowledge is, may I get a show of hands who eats fruits? What type of fruits are there? And where do fruits grow? Since the book has great literacy words, I will also ask my students before reading if they know what the words drench, plucked, taste, sweetness, and a glow mean. Then I plan to go over these words with my students before, before reading to help them develop an idea of the story that they will be reading. So for instance, if I tell them when going over the words and asking them what they believe it means before reading i will ask them if they know what the word drenched means and i will show them illustration so that they can develop so that they can kind of get an idea of what they believe that word means and afterwards i will tell them what it means before reading So after I have explained the vocabulary words, discussed over the setting and plot of the story with the class, I will also ask them where, where they believe, we'll take like a picture walk before reading and I will ask them what the setting is, who they think the characters are, and also um, the, what they think the story will be about through this picture walk and then afterwards I will just begin reading the story which I will right now in orange in January in a land that glowed with spring light an orange blossom bees fested on nectar sweet as honey until the petals fell away and the orange began to grow into what it was meant to be. It grew slowly and steadily, fed by the earth's soil and the ocean's breath. Soaked with rain and drenched in sunshine, the orange grew plump and bright until and then while reading, I will also ask questions to make sure that the students engage, are engaging and they're focusing. So I will ask them to identify the oranges and what is it that's falling down. And you know, they'll say the rain. A hand brown with seasons of sun plugged it from its branch while dew still glittered on the leaves. Its days of growing were over, but there was life in, in it yet, and it still had far to go. So I would ask them to identify the orange that's being plucked, that's being plucked out from the branch. And then I would also ask them where they believe that orange is going. From bag to basket, truck to truck, as you see the orange is being shipped. 
It followed the skyway over mountains, across deserts and plains until, and then I would ask them what kind of scenery they, they see and where they believe that orange is headed to. The orange arrived at a grocery store. There it rested a glow with the goodness inside it until two hands, small and soft, took it from the pile and called it the best one of all. Carrying it home, the child felt its roundness and imagined himself a juggler, a pitcher, a fortune teller who could see tomorrow. The night as ice gleamed on the branches, he dreamed of a land that sh shone in summer light. When morning came, the orange reached the end of its journey, bursting with the seasons inside it. And two hands, pink and cold, shared its segments so that everyone could taste the sweetness of an orange in January. The end. And then after reading um, the considerations that must be taken for English language learners or learners with exceptionalities is to go through the illustrations before reading before and after reading the story to give students a better understanding of what is going on um, by asking them what they believe is happening as well and if there are challenging words in the story that the students aren't under fully understanding then what we can do is provide them with flashcards and tell them to write to write the words that they don't understand and make and with these flashcards, they can write the definitions on the back and, you know, have, make like little games, have them partner up and quiz each other throughout the week with them to enhance their vocabulary development. And the hands-on activity, which is the fun part that we'll, we'll conduct afterwards, is to bring in different um, citrus fruits, like oranges, tangerines, man. Um, grapefruits and um, have a taste test of each fruit and the point of this activity is to discuss is to discuss nutritional value of citrus fruits and also how these fruits grow in certain climate conditions and while students perform this activity they will make notes on the chart to record their observations as well as include vocabulary words from the story that their conclusion conclusions based on the on the acidity level like is it too sweet too sour and um that's basically it